All right, guys, just um, having a wee quick shot of my drone. I've done a video with the Creighton AS this morning, and now I'm, um, well, I've done a bit of gardening and stuff. Afternoon time, kids are out playing, misses out our pals, so I thought, you know what? Go out and done our wee video, so. There's a sort of, I don't know if you can see it, there's a sort of tower over here, which I'll try and get on the drone, wrong way. Up there, I'll try to head towards that direction and we'll see what's happening. Not going for any crazy, crazy heights or anything, just trying to keep it all legal. Um, I'm a bit away from the airport, but still technically quite close to the limits of how close you're allowed to go, so I don't want to do anything I shouldn't. First we'll just head up. We'll be heading up to there, we've we'll got up to well, about 200 feet, I'd say. Oh, 100, no, there, 200, there we go, 199, close enough. So, get heading over, just go a straight line, see so nothing huge distance, just a wee play about, um, see what we can see. Quite a nice still day. Um, you know what would have helped though? If I pushed the record button. That's pretty silly. Right, we're recording now. You can tell I've not took this out for a while. Because it had went away, the old one that was faulty, um, I've not really had this one out too much other than just sort of close up video and things. So that says what? 700 foot away now. So. Nice and steady, smooth run. See the frame stutter in there. I don't know if it's kind of going over a hill. It's maybe got a little bit higher up. It's a lot further away that tower than it looks, so that's quite a bit of flying. Don't actually know what it's used for. I've seen it through the road a few times, but um, yeah, I just want to kind of get a bit of filming it. So we'll go up to 300 feet. Head out a bit more. Let's try and keep it in the centre of the screen. Still got plenty of battery, 78%. So. A little bit of screen black out there. I think the signal's too great, that's what, 1700 foot away, so not sure what that exactly is. I'll check that out and put it on the screen. We look around this way. I'm breaking up a little bit in signal here. I've got the Wi Fi off, or so the aeroplane mode and just Wi Fi on on my phone, but. Um, yeah, the screen's got a little bit of a delay, so just because I don't do a lot of far flights, it kind of is a wee bit off put in. You can see it's a lovely day here, not super sunny, but nice and calm. So the drone should be facing back on myself, so just out of curiosity, we look down and see kind of what sort of height we are. Of power, maybe it's the power cables that are affecting actually the. The signal, I didn't actually notice them. I can see them on the line straight in front of me, but I never actually gave that a thought. So, we'll go up to 400. Just keep away from these cables. Not that I'm near them, but hopefully that'll stop getting interference. Go well, 390, I'll not go too close to the 400 since this is getting recorded. Don't want to be that guy, it gets reported. There's always some day. Look around. 
And see even at that, it's an amazing view though. You can see so far away here. It's stuttering again on this screen. So it should be coming back round, I think, to the um, tower. Yeah, there we go. Try to see if we can get a bit closer to it. Like, I've got 67% battery. I've got three batteries on me. I might do another flight, but um, even though it's only straight ahead there, it's it's quite nerve-wracking flying a bit of distance with your drone. You always start worrying about it. I'll probably come back at about... There's not really any wind, so maybe about 55% I'll fly back. Weak signal, stop, avoid blocking antennas. I think with a weak signal your drone technically just comes back to you, but for me it's still a bit, a bit nerve-wracking when you've got a lot of money in your drone. Just kind of ease it up a bit slower here, we're just going, let's say we're going 2.7 mile an hour, so I'm really just got my finger finely on it. Because if I start getting any issues, I want to be able to just try and come back. Get me look down. Get my up and down. Well, someday I'll go in there. Getting spied on by me. I don't know what the people are doing there. I don't really know what it is. It's just a strange sort of little tower in the middle of nowhere. It's like a wee Rapunzel castle or something. Pretty odd. <laughs> See nobody else down underneath. So we're 2,127 foot away. We look around this area, 60% battery. I probably could have got there a lot quicker, but I'm just, like I say, I've got a wee bit of slight stutterage in the, in the camera, so kind of watching what I'm doing. Try and turn the drone round a bit. There's the bridges, so it's kind of where I live, way up beside them, so it's a little bit away. Don't think I'll be flying the drone back there anyway. Can okay, they head back in my direction now? May put in sports mode just to get a bit more speed. So we're up to 40. Let's see what speed we can get up here. 42. You should see me there just at the little road junction. Yeah, 42 mile an hour is the maximum we hit there, so I should come back to myself soon. You can see my car there parked, well, the missus's car. Um, I'll look down just now. A bit of stutterage again, aerial interference. I think it's definitely these power lines. But yeah, you can see me standing down there, looking like an idiot with my head cam. The people on the road are probably going, What's this guy all about? But um, yeah, that's me, so we'll head back again towards me. <laughs> and we'll come, start coming down a bit. There we are. So we've still got 49% in this battery, so that didn't really take a lot at all. And because I was setting up the drone, I had a calibration issue there to start with. I took off with about 90, 94% or something, so um, that wasn't too bad going. There I am. Hi guys. <laughs> Right, we'll turn around then, we've got 46%, we're 250 foot away, the field here, um, just fly over it for the, for the sake of it, for a bit of fun. Or we're losing the stutterage there again. I think this location I've just tried here with these power lines are interfering with it, I might go the other way actually. Drone looks so cool in the sky though. Here. 
Not a lot, really. Busy road with the cars. It's a great road for motorbikes, that one. That little, not much a corner there, but I love, love taking that one flat out back in the day. Really good road up here. <laughs> We've got 39% on this battery. What I'll probably do, once this battery's done, if I, if I have a shot anywhere else, so I might just add the footage in at the end of it. But um, we'll just do a bit of, sort of camera talk on this just now. It's kind of, I thought I could do a lot more talking while flying the drone, but my concentration's quite, quite taken up with it. See the motorway there as well, so. A bit of busy little area, quiet on a Sunday, but through the week that road is just jam packed, you can't move on it. One thing with UK motorways, they're just tiny compared to like the American ones and stuff, total undersized for the traffic that's on them most of the time. Look about again. Getting a bit stutter edge again there too, so. What I'll probably do is burrow this drone round, got 34%. I mean, I've seen guys can take their drones to the death and land to a few percent, but at like basically a thousand pound, eh? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not risking that with my drone, each to their own, but I'm a kind of a chicken that way. <laughs> So I can hear it above me. Yeah, we are. Obviously that was totally in the line of sight the whole way guys, Obviously, everybody knows that low battery warning at 30% So We'll come down just now and That beep <laughs> It's 30% got plenty of battery but that, that beep terrifies me I'm telling you <laughs> As much as I can fly drones No problem, I'm just kind of I'm a big, I'm a big chicken. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you see that wee bird there? If we get on camera, keep getting my up and down direction wrong on this thumb controller. Ah, it's away now. Right, twenty six percent. So. Not sure the total distance to that flight there, but what I'll do is when I check my stats on this um, on this phone app after I'm done, I'll, I'll put it all up on the screen when I put the video up. But yeah, just a little a little video of me looking silly with my head cam, having a bit of fun with my drone. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. It's the Mavic Air One, the original drone. Um, love it, great little thing, uh, nice and stable. N never had any issues. Well, other than my drone failing, but I got that. That replaced under warranty, no problem, but the drone itself, to fly, it's no problem, nice and easy, um, just a great little thing. And with the Fly More bundle that I've got, you get three batteries, so you've kind of got more than enough time up in the air with it, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that, have a look at my bald head, looking silly with the GoPro cam, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you're not subscribed, please do, catch you guys later, bye.